Hey, what is up guys, MPBHD here. And you know how for the past year or so, pretty much every smartphone that's come out has had some sort of notch in the top, in the middle. That's just the way they've been. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the most interesting designs that we've seen for the past couple months were smartphones trying to avoid the notch. Well, it looks like for 2018, that, that's gonna be how we get away from it. That's the avoidance of the notch. So this is what I'm gonna call the hole punch. So yes, of course, different companies are gonna call it different things. Samsung will call it the Infinity O display. This one we have here is the Honor View 20 from Huawei. They don't really call it anything, so we'll just call it the hole punch. So there's all kinds of interesting things about this phone from the blue Chevron back that changes the way it looks depending on how light hits it, which is really cool, to the 4,000 milliamp hour battery, to the 48 megapixel main camera, the six gigs of RAM. But what I'm here for is the hole punch display. So this particular version of the hole punch is through an LCD display, so not an OLED, and it's a 6.4 inch 2310 by 1080 display, so not the highest resolution, but it looks all right. And you can see that they've pushed it to the edges like a lot of other phones this past year, but instead of having a notch for the front facing camera, they've gone all the way up to the corner and there's this hole punch cutout in the top left corner of the display. So as far as we can tell, this is the future of smartphone design avoiding the notch in 2019. We knew it was coming. And it's one thing to see the leaks and the renders and another to actually see it in person. The first thing that strikes me is it's bigger than I thought it would be. I mean, I saw the renders and I think they were a little generous with how small they thought the aperture for the camera opening would need to be. But putting in a full camera module means you'll need the full camera opening and it's noticeable, but you know, still not too bad. But then other things I noticed were really specific to this exact phone's implementation of the notch. For example, it's not centered even in the rounded corner of the display. It's a little bit above center to be tucked further into the notification bar so as not to interrupt apps below it, which makes sense, but it's really hard to unnotice that it's not centered. And I kind of wish I didn't notice that. Like as part of the aesthetic of the phone, it's, it just looks a little bit off. And then there's also a slightly darkened area around the hole punch as if there's a little added shadow surrounding it. Uh, I reached out to Huawei about this and they haven't gotten back to me yet, but I'll add a pinned comment or a tweet or something if I do. But as of right now, I think it's added in the software because there are other places in the UI where there's a similar shadow added, like the bottom of the display in party mode or even in the launcher or in other Huawei apps. If that darkened area is because of like the way the display is built because of the hardware or the way the LCD and the backlight work, that's a different story that OLED may be able to solve when we see it in future phones. But as of right now, it appears to just be with this phone. And the fact that the whole rest of the notification bar is shaded, it's, you kind of don't really notice it after a while anyway. But if you look at it for long enough, you will notice. And then overall, you got to think about apps. And so far, apps play with the hole punch pretty much the same way that they played with the regular notch, meaning they ignore the whole space all the way up at the top. There's a section in Huawei settings. They still call it a notch, but they let you hide the notch like always that just blacks out the whole top of the phone. And for the most part, full screen apps play pretty well with it with literally just a hole in the UI, just a hole in the app, simple as that. You can watch videos with a hole in the screen. You can play games with a hole in the screen. It's something to get used to, just like the notch. And there are also some apps that do look kind of weird right now because of things like text up in the corners or some weird overlapping elements, things that wouldn't have looked quite as weird with a regular notch in the middle. But again, I think people will get used to it and apps will update as well. But yeah, that's, as far as the hole punch, that's pretty much it. I think the more phones that we see start to do this hole punch camera cutout, the more clever ways we'll see of hiding that hole punch and with like things like dark wallpapers and clever gradients and things like that. But now what we gotta stay tuned to find out is what other phones will have the hole punch cut out. So there was the Huawei Nova 4 that was at CES that had the hole punch already that I got to hold and take photos of and play with briefly. That's gonna go on sale. And of course we all just saw the Samsung Galaxy S10 event that got announced for the end of February. We're all expecting that to have not only a single camera cutout, but the larger one should have a dual camera cutout. So we'll get to see how the highest end displays will work with OLED and twice as big of a camera cutout. I'm super ready for that. And I still, I still wish someone would do it in the middle. Like there's no notifications in the middle. There's time isn't in the middle. That's where no information usually needs to be. That's where the notch usually was. But as of right now, it seems like the corner cutout is the most popular implementation of avoiding the notch in 2019. Welcome to the new year. Either way, let me know what you think. Would you rock this phone with the cool sparkly back? Would you rock any phone with a hole punch cutout in it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.